that episode you had with your mom, that was a fascinating episode. She talked about, she's had four marriages. Mm -hmm. She worked graveyard shifts as a janitor and as other jobs. She had jobs where she traveled. She was a single mom raising you guys. And her second husband was uh, abusive uh -huh. towards her, physically abusive. Mm -hmm. And at one point in the podcast, she talks about getting to the point where she was either going to kill him with a frying pan yep. or kill herself with the car mm -hmm. and the exhaust because she couldn't stand the shame Ugh. of the idea that she failed in her first marriage, mm -hmm. found another man, got remarried, and he was wrong for her too. She couldn't get divorced a second time. Yeah. And this idea that we're talking about of shame and embarrassment and public humiliation and worrying about- And the power of it. Yes, and yeah. I was just curious what was happening when you were sitting with your mom in the room and she is retelling your childhood. Some things came up and that you just brought up one of them, which it never crossed my mind to ask her, which is, because it just hit me while she was talking about getting her ass kicked by my second stepdad repeatedly, and everything I know about my mom, I just started thinking, God, it's so not her to have stayed with that guy. Like, why? Anyone who's not been in an abusive relationship is gonna be dying to know, like, why? You're not weak, you're not, you don't lack assertiveness. How, how could this have happened to you? This doesn't seem like this could happen to you. And then she said, I was so shame ridden about having failed at my marriage with your dad and, and you know, I couldn't possibly have called my parents to tell them I was gonna do it again and another one. And that was very eye opening to me. And I felt very sad for her. That that's what you'd be willing to do to, to avoid feeling the shame of failure. And I can relate so much to it. You know, I can relate to carrying shame and in, 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 in the power it ultimately can have over you. It, it's gotta be in the top three most destructive forces you can allow into your life, you know? And then I think the way out of shame is, is sharing it, is saying to another person, I did this thing or I've, you know, X, Y, or Z, and, and to have that person go, yeah, I did that too. There's so much comfort and relief that comes out of that. And, um, and then I think my mom's kind of takeaway, because, you know, again, I've had 15 years of practice living in public. My mom has zero <laughs> minutes yeah, of living right. in public. And she did that podcast and everyone was like, you're brave and I'm proud of you and really yeah and 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 the responses that we got from that episode are like none that I've ever got because I think you can really underestimate how many people are living in that kind of situation hey folks thanks for watching if you like what you just saw then why not subscribe click right here for lots more off camera and if you want to see the hour-long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.